Hey everybody, it's Corona Story Time. My name's Dave, uh, and I thought for tonight I would read uh, the story of the time I married my niece, uh, <laughs> which is from my book, uh, Deliver Us from Meville. Uh, and uh, this is from chapter one, The High Cost of Living in Meville. I got married recently to my niece. It was her idea, I just went along with it. She was five at the time, over at my house with her parents and her brother and her sister, and she decided it was high time she and I got hitched. And my niece is stubborn. I knew she would not take no for an answer. <laughs> so I said yes. We didn't have an efficient, of course, so the wedding could hardly be considered official. I figured if we're going to pretend, why not do it upright? So rather than wed ourselves, we recreated the most famous impulse wedding I could think of on short notice. <laughs> the wedding of Britney Spears and Kevin Federline. I played the part of K-Fed. My niece, to my brother's great chagrin, played the part of Britney. <laughs> Britney, in case you happen to discover this book in a post-apocalyptic 22nd century church library, was a bubble pop music sensation in the early part of the third millennium A.D. Her career was at least temporarily sidetracked by a series of bad decisions, including an hours-long marriage to a family friend, Jason Alexander, and an affair that would lead to marriage and two children and a reality television series with a man whose child by another mother hadn't been born yet. That would be k <laughs> Brittany went on to redefine the party scene as a tragic comic event, attacking a car with an umbrella, shaving her head, and leaving the scene of a car accident. Perhaps you can understand my brother's concern. <laughs> Federline, who we were eventually led to believe was the responsible one, was an accomplished dancer for touring bubble pop musicians such as Britney, but his real dream was to be a media sensation. Having Britney as a wife and a television co-star opened considerable doors to K-Fed, clearing the way for him to experiment with acting, minor roles in film and on television, and rapping, his first album, Playing With Fire, dropped in October 2006. By the time my niece and I reenacted the Britney K. Fed wedding, Britney had filed for divorce, and K. Fed had become, at least for the moment, a professional wrestler. <laughs> his album failed, several of his tour dates were canceled, and he was ult ultimately named by Star Magazine and British Television, among other media outlets one of the 10 most annoying people of 2006. <laughs> now, my niece and I weren't invited to the Britney K-Fed wedding, so recreating the event took some imagination. My niece, fortunately, has been protected from such silliness in her young life, so she simply pretended to be a bride. But I took my role seriously. <laughs> I put a baseball cap on my head, cocked to the side, I slung an oversized coat around my waist and elbows, I slouched, I smirked, and I asserted myself unapologetically. k I imagined, would mark his wedding not with the traditional I do, or to thee I pledge my troth, but with a bold-faced boast. I'm Kevin Federline. I'm important, yo! <laughs> Why do I share this story? I'm trying to remember. Oh yes, I share this story because about a month after my niece and I were married, my brother called to inform me that my niece and my other niece, and probably, once he learns to talk, my nephew, mm -hmm. have adopted a new catchphrase. I'm important, yo! <laughs> they shouted over and over and over again to my great amusement and my brother's great chagrin. When small children learn to say, I'm important, yo, it's cute. It's also significant because they are important. At the birth of the world, the Bible dares to suggest God created human beings in his own image. He went on to assign them great importance in the created order. Fill the earth and govern it. Reign over the fish in the sea, the birds in the sky, and all the animals that scurry along the ground. Little children are important because they are human beings, and human beings are important because they are made in the image of God and bear a responsibility in keeping with their divine likeness to the kingdom of God. The danger comes when small children or grown adults say, I'm important, yo, over and over and over again. 
Somewhere in the repetition, their sense of significance morphs into something more sinister. Self-absorption. Welcome to Neve. Mm. Thanks for listening. <laughs>